Welcome back to Energy Lab. Today I'm being joined by Firas Shadi, the head of the off-grid division of Enaware. Welcome. Thank you, Stefan, for having me on the show today. Great to have you. Thank you. Um, today we are visiting a project from B6. Can you tell me a little bit about B6? Correct. Yeah. So B6 is the largest Belgian construction company based in uh, Brussels. Uh, they're active since the 1909, more specifically in the Gulf since 1965. Um, in UAE uh, specifically, they've built the Burj Khalifa, um, uh, the Adnok headquarters, Ferrari Ward, uh, and uh, in Dubai, they're currently building the largest waste to energy plant in the world. Wow. Okay, so one of the top construction companies worldwide, yes, I guess. Yes, according to the ENR ranking, they're one of the top construction companies worldwide. Excellent. And uh, we're going to visit uh, Uptown Dubai um, project. So uh, the project is owned by the Dubai Multi Commodity Center, um, and it's part of a larger development called the Dubai Uptown Development. Uh, this is the first of multiple projects uh, to be uh, constructed. It's the Dubai Uptown Tower. Uh, this project will rise about 340 meters and will consist of 78 uh, stories. You mentioned previously that B6 is a very inno innovative uh, company and they have internal programs to push innovation. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, correct. And I'll tell you how uh, we came into this project mm -hmm. with B6. Uh, so in 2016, uh, B6 released an internal innovation program called Unleash that uh, allowed employees to come up with ideas for construction co technologies um, that promote uh, different technologies to help with the construction of the project. Uh, and part of the Unleash program, a program called BSIM, was mm -hmm. initiated. Uh, BSIM is short for B6 Site Installation management and it acts as a one-stop shop for all the requirements that allows the project team to execute that project and part of that is the energy required or power generation required on the site um, so this is how BSIM came in the picture and we joined forces with BSIM at the time to figure out how we can generate more effective power on site and optimize power distribution across the different applications. Um, so we started with, with uh, BSIM and B6 in 2016 with a small site office. Mm -hmm. And now currently on the Dubai Uptown Tower, we are powering one of uh, the largest construction uh, projects in, in the area. Uh, and then at the same time, it has uh, currently with the hybrid system, uh, the largest uh, solar plant in a, on the construction site in the world. Amazing. So on this internal innovation program, uh, B6 is collaborating basically also with external suppliers like Enaware. Yes, correct. So uh, BSIM, uh, part of BSIM was, was uh, what we are doing with them. Mm -hmm. But other things, as we will see in the site visit, include replacing conventional um, the cabins with more uh, eco cabins that basically reduce uh, energy consumption. They've also replaced the air conditioners from uh, legacy compressor based uh, systems to inverter based air conditioners would drastically reduce the energy consumption on site. Right. Amazing. So there are multiple uh, combinations of, of energy efficiency and energy generation elements mm -hmm. that, uh, that are joined together uh, in order to, to get us to the result that we're currently at. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Should we go there? Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll take you to, to a site tour, but before that we're going to meet with uh, the project director there who's going to give us an idea more about the project and details. Uh, and uh, just before we go, I'll, uh, I would like to uh, tell you a little bit more about what we are doing with the okay. project. So you know typically on construction sites there are multiple power requirements distributed across the site. And the way that construction companies deal with that requirement is that they place a diesel generator relatively close by where the energy mm -hmm. sources are required. What we've done there and that's quite different than what the rest of the industry is doing, is that we've centralized power generation in one location mm -hmm. and we've distributed these loads locally for the loads that are very close to that location. Mm -hmm. And for the loads that are relatively remote to that area, we've used the medium voltage network to transmit power to those remote areas. So what we've effectively powered is all the site, a combination of site offices, labor rest facilities, and tower cranes on a single network using solar. And that's not, not an easy feat, and the reason is because uh, it, the combination of solar and diesel mm -hmm. with tower cranes is very challenging. Uh, we are basically having our solar plant meet the demands of the tower cranes and the heavy machinery on site, which hasn't been attempted before really. What makes it so difficult? 
Uh, well, the reason is, uh, by nature, tower cranes require high power when they're lifting something, but they don't really consume all of and that and energy. And how, how do you resolve that challenge? Uh, so we, we had our solar system respond much faster to those increasing and decreasing loads. And by doing that, we were coping with the uh, uh, tower crane requirements. Okay. And you're using proprietary software for that? Or w what lets you respond faster with the solar? So that's actually the software that we've desi okay. designed in-house. It's, it's our own solution and we've designed it actually specifically for the construction requirements. Okay, fantastic. So, let's go. Great. Miguel, thank you very much for having the time to meet us today. So can you tell us a little bit about the development as a whole? Uh, first of all, Firas, thanks for having me and uh, thanks for having the interest on what B6 is doing around here and on the partnership with NWA. So the Uptown Dubai is, uh, is a major development which has been built in the south part of uh, Dubai, which is a set of seven towers. Right now we are building phase one, which is a tower of 340 meters with 78 floors. Uh, with a total build-up area 200,000 square meters, where 100,000 are on the tower and another 100,000 are on the podium, which is mainly services and parking. I understood also that uh, B6 had, are implementing um, innovative technologies within the construction of that building. Can you tell us uh, a couple of the things that you are currently in using in the construction of the building? Okay, uh, construction technologies and digitization uh, are seen as B6 as the future and therefore uh, we try to have an innovative approach on this particular project. We have decided to engage a series of startups with digital technologies from the procurement to logistics to um, the process monitoring and even to the personal tracking. We have engaged several companies together with our stakeholders uh, in order to improve our efficiency because it's all about efficiency and in this sense we have also engaged anywhere in order to provide smart grid to the management of our energy. And I understood that you actually have a position within the site team as a digitization manager. Uh, is this part of the management's commitment towards completely revolutionizing the construction uh, industry in the future? As we implement a very wide series of tools, in this project we are implementing, as I said before, Propagate for logistics. We are implementing Sablono for activity tracking, you know, to support us with our activities and planning. We are also uh, implementing um, Anywhere for our smart grid management. Uh, in order to change all these habits and in order to change the old procedures in construction, uh, we needed to have a change manager. To that change manager, we called it uh, digitization manager. And in that sense, we had Sven Bakos and previously uh, Johannes Andres, which have been in charge of implementing all the new technologies that we have been implemented. Uh, and, and at the same time, familiarizing our teams and our stakeholders of the processes and advantages in order to capitalize in efficiency at the end. Yeah. Can you tell us what benefit uh, have you felt from using our system, our hybrid uh, system on site? Uh, energy in a project with this dimension has always been a pain point for whoever manages the project. Having temporary power and, and the energy management around the project, uh, we have to manage equipment, uh, breakdowns, diesel, highs and lows of, of all this equipment. and. Having Enerware as a business partner on this particular project took a big problem out of our hands. Now we only need to worry about the switch. So we switch on, switch off, and we save energy. Then it's up to Enerware to manage the full grid. That, that's part as well of, of our sustainability management plan and um, where we even apply for the Gulf Sustainability Awards, as we can see across, across the project. Uh, and Miguel, uh, one last question. It's, it's extremely hot outside, but in the office it's uh, actually pretty cool here. Um, what have you done in this office in particular that you haven't done before? So in this office, uh, as part of the BSIM uh, approach, uh, instead of using the old cabins which do not have 
a, high, a level high enough of uh, thermal insulation, uh, we not only apply new modules with a higher uh, U-value, mm -hmm. uh, as, as we as well uh, keep a very good track on opening doors and closing doors. Uh, so we try to limit the loss of energy, even by controlling the, the AC at the centralized level as well. Uh, and I can tell you something also, uh, from our energy monitoring devices, we've detected at least a 40% decrease uh, usage of energy from this site office compared to similar site offices. So whatever you're doing is working pretty well. Um, and thank you very much for having the time to talk to me uh, and, and have the center review. Um, now, uh, stay tuned. We're going to go for a tour of our hybrid system uh, outside the office. Thank you very much. It's thank been you. a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Mikhail. So behind me is our solar system. This is the largest solar plant powering a construction site in the world. It accommodates 300 cars, mainly the engineers and the client that are based within the project site. Uh, we're going to take a walk now and we're going to see what's under these panels. This is a hot dip galvanized steel structure. We're using this structure because it's cost effective and provides the strength required to carry these solar panels. So the solar panels are about 18 kilogram per meter square. And then as you can see here, we have purlins running from one side to the other and the solar panels are mounted directly on top of these purlins. Um, each solar panel is approximately 300 watt peaks and as you can see those DC cables carry the current generated from the solar panel that goes all the way to the inverters which we're going to see now. So all of these DC cables coming from our solar panels are going all the way to these inverters. The inverters convert DC power to AC power that's typically used in this construction site. And this is the AC cable going to our LV panel that we're going to see now. So all of the uh, cables from our solar panels are going all the way to this area where we also have our diesel generators. So this is a solar diesel hybrid system. Both the solar plant and the diesel plant are running together. As you can see now, and you can probably hear, uh, there's a diesel generator running in the background. So that's our plant. Behind me is a diesel tank, and as you can see, there are three generators. So all of the solar cables are coming here, and this is the main LV panel for our solar plant. And from here, it goes to the main centralization panel over there. So you see the spaghetti of cables that we have over here? These are all the cables coming from the diesel generators and the solar plant into this main centralization panel. And as you can see here, we have our communication tools and equipment. This allows us to read the plant's data in real time and react if we need to react to any incidents or any issues that are facing the plant. So this generator just automatically turned on. Our generators will turn on and off depending on the best optimal setting for fuel efficiency. And now just, this generator just started running. So this generator just started out to supply additional power for the site because now the power demand is going up. As you can see, it's still producing zero kilowatts, but very shortly it will connect to our system and start injecting power to the grid. Good. it was still synchronizing to the system and now it's actually supplying power you can actually have a look at it so out of the total power currently being consumed 145 kilowatts are generated from this particular unit so from this unit and the other running unit we just saw and the solar plant all of the electricity as we said is being delivered to this panel and then this panel is distributing electricity to the local loads which is the site office very close by and then to the loads that are very far away, that's mainly the construction side, we step up the voltage to 11 kilovolts and then we transmit that power over, over a medium voltage cable. Um, so this is a 2 MVA transformer and we have two of them here and here for redundancy. And then on each side where we need to use that power, we step down that voltage, we step down that power back to 415 volts through a step-down transformer and we have two of them uh, 1.5 MVA transformer we step down that power 
and we have three of them in this side. So it's one central plant for generation, and then a distribution system, and three step-down transformers for local distribution on the loads across the site. So the construction site is right behind me. I said the side offices are over there, and then, as you can see in the construction site, there are heavy equipment, tower cranes and man hoists. And it's very challenging to power these kind of applications through solar, but this is enabled through Enerware's hybrid energy management system, which enables a higher response time between the solar and the generators to cope with the increasing demands of a tower crane. So thank you for joining me on this tour. This was a very simple introduction to our hybrid system at the Dubai Uptown project, powering the construction of the Dubai Uptown Tower. If you would like to know more about this project and microgrids in general, please make sure to sign and subscribe to Energy Lab. This was Ferrat Shadid from Enerware. Thank you.